Kia ora, nā reira, tēnā koutou katoa, nā mihi aroha ki a koutou katoa. Um, I know we've got 10 minutes, so it's going to be really a, a sort of a thing go on this one. Uh, 10, 10, okay. Okay, kia whai te pono o nā wākātoa, changing the way, and we care. And that's just about the model of heal. Uh, the other one is women who are pregnant and Māori and counties Manukau Health uh, registered as having high social risk factors that could place their unborn child at risk. In September 2017, in an attempt to address the disparity, community midwifery uh, services commenced a new model of care, and that is HEAL. We wanted to see it more intensive case management strategies underpinned by te ao Māori philosophies would have an impact on the women community midwives we're working with. What was the aim? The research is seeking to, to understand how the new model differs from existing models that are currently uh, within Counties Manukau, the approach, the processes, and also the outcomes. And how pregnant women and other stakeholders feel about the approach. What are the outcomes? And why have they occurred? This is what we need to be looking at. And to also make practice and policy recommendations. Diane. So the first thing that I guess we had to do was to just take a look at some of the statistics around women that are appearing on these high risk registers. And quite um, what stood out for us was the high, high number of Māori women who were being um, located as being high risk of causing harm to their unborn. Next one. So that this was the last one we did um, in the high risk register for March 2018. Again, Māori women um, appearing predominantly high in the high risk register. Given that we're only 16% of the population, we're disproportionately high. Question. So why, why is this happening? Why are Māori women consistently being um, placed as high risk to their unborn through either the referral process or what we, we call a social work alert process, which occurs in counties? And how do we examine the current systems, protocols and policies used by social work at Counties Manukau? And how do we look at the lived experiences of women who um, are, are coming through these systems, these processes? I wanted to apply a bicultural lens to, to this que these questions um, because it's, it's um, given that Māori women are sitting at the highest rate, uh, the, the highest statistic, and in, in, um, at high risk. What what's happening, and why is it happening, and what would happen if we shifted the, that paradigm around and said, you know, actually, who's interpreting what is high risk, and who's interpreting what good parenting is, and then determining who um, sits as a person, a woman, who's likely to um, cause harm to her unborn. The model that we were trialling um, was um, is called HEAL. Um, the co-founder of HEAL, John Royal, states that um, it's about promoting um, a reciprocal and facilitated um, response to working with people who are vulnerable or who present with um, vulnerable uh, vulnerability um, as such in a, a de de socially depri deprivation of counties Monaco. John states that the effective engagement is about gaining mutual satisfaction in the relationship, and we'll talk about that a little more, and this does take time. Heal is a powerful tool if we have the time, resources and energy. And as he says, one or two hours a month just won't cut it. Methodology. Uh, the methodology here is about uh, how are we going to do it, review the current, um, the current systems, policies and protocols that occur within Counties Manukau, 
historical review of the differences of child safety since 2008, uh, cost analysis and some outcomes on that. Capturing patients' uh, experiences in a qualitative manner, that is kānohi ki te kānohi, uh, kōrero mai, whiti whiti kōrero, and engage with them in that way. And look at the current systems com uh, that are comparing to the new model currently being trialled by community midwifery. Talk to the stakeholders again. This is about their, their experiences working with Countess Manukau and how they found the new model and how it worked. So I've been reviewing a lot of the, the data around um, um, how systems and health have been working in terms of child protection. And um, increasingly what I found in, in reading through reviews and, and, and other, um, other data is that nothing's changed. I left New Zealand for Australia in 2000 and came back in 2000. Uh, sorry, in 2010 and came back in 2016. The mortality rate hasn't lowered for children who, are, who have um, uh, died intentionally. The number of children going into care hasn't lowered. Um, the number of, um, uh, 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 the number of, of Māori predominantly hasn't, um, hasn't changed as, in, in being the, the highest uh, statistically in those areas. And as the review committee said, that uh, the review argues that if we are to reduce the number of short child and young people, children and young people dying, then we need to address the systems that are failing them. So, by changing the way we care for women, we are having some better social and health outcomes. By actively involving women in identifying and working with their needs, strengths, and supports structures, better outcomes for both women and babies have been occurring. The initial finding seems to seem to support this um, hypothesis and we want to explore why this is, appears to be so and what are the key factors which contribute to better outcomes. So standing beside me is Melly. Melly is part of my little team and down the back is our manager Isabella. Hi Isabella. <laughs> and without her support we probably couldn't have done this. Um, is that the end of it? Oh okay so all right. So just to, to, um, to give you an idea, four women that have been through our HEAL process or the multi-agency service were all told that their children were at high risk of being removed from their care. By changing the philosophy around risk and working with them from an, um, a needs basis, that is, what are their social needs in their community, all those women have taken their children home. Now, we aren't solely responsible for that because these women actually, when they identified that they had opportunities to be supported, actually made that contribution to, uh, to having being assessed as being able to take their children home. You want to say anything? Thank you. All right, everyone. Uh, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou kato. Te aroha, te whakapono, me te rangi marie, tātou, tātou e. No reira, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā rakoutou kato. He pātai. <laughs>